Well, there's the oldest McDonald's around today. We went to the uh, oldest in and out but they were closed, so we decided to go to McDonald's instead. So there you can see, there's a little, their old sign. There's that old McDonald's with the arches, so uh, let's check it out. And there is that old sign. It's pretty cool, I bet it looks cool at night. They've still got the 500 million hamburgers sold. Uh, I think they've sold more than that. And that's the old, I think his name is Speedy. The old guy, there's no Ronald here. No Ronald for us. And there's the building. Oldest McDonald's, those arches there. Across from a Jack in the Box. I think the Jack in the Box is a little sad looking over at this McDonald's. So we came to this McDonald's because the In-N-Out was closed, but uh, this McDonald's is also closed. The, the museum portion is because of COVID. But uh, you can kind of see in there, they got some mannequins and paraphernalia. Uh, some plates and stuff. Man, we'll have to come back here. It looks pretty cool. But this is the oldest operating McDonald's still in operation but it wasn't opened by the McDonald brothers or Ray Kroc it was a franchise in 1953 it opened and here they have this history but uh, apparently Ray Kroc actually came and visited this store when he was selling multi mixers and to help him open his his own franchise the first outside of California so the store actually closed in 1994 because of the Northridge earthquake, but they reopened in 96, and that's when they added this museum and gift shop, I guess. And so this here is the original building, the original McDonald's. It's got those arches, those stripes, like some seating built right in the building there. Uh, pretty cool, very cool. I don't know why the sign only has one arch. McDonald's has two. That would be for Nick Donald's. Here they have this saying there, one dollar hamburger is a better value today than it was in 1955 when it was 15 cents. So I guess we'll have to get a one dollar hamburger with cheese. And they have these uh, old cash registers here. I don't know if those are from the 50s, but they look cool. And this old, ye old beverage dispenser that looks like a big barrel for some reason. Well, we got our food. We didn't get the $1 burger because that just didn't sound like enough. We got the quarter pounders with cheese. And we're splitting a fry and a Coke. And God, it, the Coke really at McDonald's just tastes the best. There's the whole legend, the, the lore that they serve their Coke differently and have a different Coke syrup to water ratio and they use stainless steel containers instead of plastic. And I think that lore is probably true. Mm -hmm. it, it really does taste better. Look at that sesame seed bun. I got mine plain. I just wasn't feeling a bunch of condiments today. Sometimes I'll do it. Cheese is... Uh, I kind of miss the uh, the patty with the cheese. God, <laughs> <laughs> God there's a bunch of salt in there. Yeah, that's all right. It'll be good enough. Let's see yours. You got everything on it. Yeah, well, I was just about to add more ketchup because they, I don't know, I just like a more saucy burger than I was given, but. Mm hmm. No, it doesn't look appetizing, but it uh, tastes all right. Yeah, it'll probably taste okay. I'll probably just add a little more ketchup. Okay, I'm ready for my first bite of only cheese. Is it good? It's good. It's pretty salty, but it's good. I think McDonald's fries outshine their burgers. Yeah. I think because it's older, I have higher expectations, but it's really just a normal McDonald's. Like, the food's <laughs> not any different, yeah. It's just McDonald's. It's just McDonald's. So come here for the, the history and the nostalgia, but 
don't drive here for the food. Well, we're done eating our food, but we've decided to get a shake. So we're going to go through this drive through here. Look at this uh, speedy guy here. He looks like a South Park character. Well, we went back, we got our vanilla shake, but we also heard they have the a fried apple pie here. They still deep fry their apple pies. So we decided to get one of those too. And oh, let's see what it looks like. Does that look different than a normal yeah. apple pie? So it, do, it looks, does look fried or deep fried. Um, definitely crispier. Well, let's try this thing, huh? I guess this is like one of the only McDonald's where you could still get a deep fried apple pie and people go crazy for it. That crunch. Is it hot? Ooh. No, it's a, it's a little warm. That's good. That crust, that, what is it, the, the skin, the, the dough, the bake, what's it called? The, the dough. Skin. The skin. The, the, the crust. The crust, the crust, the dough is really good. <laughs> Very crispy. Just having one more little bite. If you happen to come here, try it, get it. Mm -hmm. okay. But I wouldn't make a special trip here just for that. Unless you're in love with apple pies for some reason. You can finish it. I don't want it. <laughs> Well, I guess that's it. That's our, that was our visit to the first, the oldest McDonald's. So that was fun. Thanks for watching. Uh, this is just kind of a little experiment test video. My first one, kind of going like this, kind of doing the Heel Hauser style, visiting places like Adam the Woo or like Justin Scard, kind of those guys. I like doing that kind of stuff. So I'm just testing, seeing if this is something that I. I like and want to do. We're trying out like a microphone and that kind of thing. So um, let me know how it sounds and looks and what you guys think in the comments and we'll see if we keep doing this kind of stuff. But uh, I like it. It's fun doing this. I've always loved Heelhauser. Grew up watching him and I want to be Heelhauser when I grow up. All right, that's it. Hey, thanks for watching this video. This is my dog, Murphy. And these are dog treats. Now I'll give Murphy one of these dog treats and all you have to do is press the like button. Just press that little like button right down there at the bottom of this video, and this sweet, adorable, cute little puppy gets a treat, all thanks to you. All right, you did it? Okay, I believe you, you said you did it. There you go, Murph. She got that treat because of you. Now, I'll eat one of these treats, and all you have to do is click that subscribe button right there, pointing to it, just click that subscribe button, subscribe to curiosity -ness with me, Travis DeRose. Get lots of good video, and I'll eat this treat. All right, you did that too? That's not very good. We're not very